Welcome to St. Ignatius Chapel. Today we celebrate Trinity Sunday. Our celebrant today is Jesuit Father Bruce Berta. of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate the Feast of the Holy Trinity, the feast day of one of our Jesuit parishes here in Johannesburg. So truly a day of rejoicing for us. We ask the Lord to bless us and to bless you too, you who are part of our wider Trinity family. We ask the Lord not only to bless us, but to heal us and to forgive us. Lord God, you sent your Son to teach us how to love and how to serve. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your Son came to take away the sins of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. He came to gather all the nations of the world into the peace of his kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sin and bring us to a new and everlasting life. Amen. Let us now give glory to God. Glory, glory to God, God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus speaks the wisdom of God. The Lord created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of old. Ages ago, I was set up, at the first, before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth. Before he made the earth with its fields, or the first of the dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above. When he established the fountains of the deep. 
when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not, might not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the sons of men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. When I see the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man? that you should keep him in mind, the son of man, that you care for him? O Lord, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Yet you have made him little lower than the angels. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, How majestic is your name through all the earth. You put all things under his feet, all of them, sheep and oxen, yes, even the cattle of the fields, birds of the air and fish of the sea that make their way through the waters. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have obtained access to his grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in our hope of sharing the glory of God. More than that, We rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To God, who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have yet many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
no image can truly do the Trinity justice. But people talk about the love between the Father and the Son being so great that it overflowed, that the Holy Spirit was the movement of that love. The Holy Spirit has also been described as the kiss of love the Father bestows on the Son. I'm not even going to try and explain what the Trinity is. But I am going to point out what I think is the major aspect of the Trinity. Or put differently, what does Trinity as Trinity teach us? One aspect of the Trinity that stands out most for me that it is a relationality of love, that it teaches us how to be community. The mutual love of the Trinity led firstly to the creation and then to salvation. The love of the Trinity flowed out and created life. And when humanity rejected God, and chose sin, that same love caused the second person of the Trinity to become incarnate for us, to teach us how to love and how to forgive. When we truly love one another, the power of our mutual love frees us to be better than who we are and enables us to make the world a better place through our own loving. Our loving can bring life into the world, the biological life of children, and a richer life to the widow and the orphan, the sick, the imprisoned, the lonely, and the unloved. It gives life to all. Our love, if it is a genuine love, is not an inward-turning love that only seeks to satisfy our own needs. True, deep, genuine love overflows into every aspect of our life. In the words of a previous Jesuit general, love makes us men and women of God, men and women for others. This is why each year the Jesuit parish of the Holy Trinity hosts an Easter lunch and a Christmas lunch for the homeless. That's why for many years that same parish has hosted a support group for LGBT Christians. Through our relationship with diverse groups of people in our community, through our commitment to journey with them. We, the Trinity Parish, have been given life, just as their own vision has been broadened, their own love for God and others deepened. A Jesuit paleontologist and theologian, Teilhard de Chardin, said the following, some day after mastering the winds, the waves, the tides, and gravity, we shall harness for God the energies of love. And then, for a second time in the history of the world, humanity will have discovered fire. The Trinity teaches us that we human beings are called to live in relationship with one another, and that through self-giving, through mutual love, we can give life to one another. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God's Holy Spirit now leads us into prayer and gives us the assurance that God will hear our petitions. For the Christian churches, that they be one in the unifying love of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For civil authorities, that they intensify their efforts to establish peace and justice throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the homeless and the hungry, the sick and the dying, that they receive consolation from the God who saves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gathered here, that we welcome the love of God poured into our hearts in this Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they will share the glory of the true and God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, have mercy on us and answer our prayers. Let the love which unites the persons of the Trinity shape our lives and the lives of all people. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, who celebrates life with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For well, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. The meaning of this water and wine. Come to share the divinity of Christ to humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. Yes. 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 Lord God, be pleased with this gift we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sin. Pray now. Brothers and sisters, that these gifts that we bring may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of God's name, for our good and the Lord of God's holy church, and for the salvation of your name. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, Lord our God, 
the suffering of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. What you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and, and archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, with Butti, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to share eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and grant us peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have Lamb mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. So, brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Although you cannot receive physical communion with us now, we invite you into a moment of spiritual communion. The great medieval theologian, St. Thomas Aquinas, defines spiritual communion as an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the Holy Sacrament and a loving embrace as though we had already received him. His words are echoed by the great mystic and fellow doctor of the church, St. Teresa of Avila, who wrote, When you do not receive communion and do not attend Mass, you can make a spiritual communion, which is a most beneficial practice. By it, the love of God will be greatly impressed on you. At this moment, we invite you to focus on Christ and your longing for union with Him. Express your desire to feel His grace coursing through you, giving you strength and courage, particularly in these difficult times. In your desiring union, you are united with us and to Christ. In this moment, we experience the reality that is already here.
Let us pray. Almighty God, may receiving the sacrament bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trini Trinity and undivided unity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to give God glory with your lives. Thanks be to God.